Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, um, BRG. My name is Kelsey. Uh, my husband and I have a small farm in South Central Kansas that we are breeding up Australian Whites. And um, in today's video, I wanted to talk about uh, how we got barber pole worm in a couple of our sheep and yeah, we rotationally graze. Um, we move them weekly onto a new area and just the the effects leading up to it, how I finally figured out that it was barber pole worm. So, um, like I said, we rotationally graze. We have them out on 240 acres right now. Most of it is grass and here in the last few weeks, it has started to lose the protein in it. So um, these girls were already getting pulled down from their lambs because we hadn't weaned yet. We were right at the end of three months. If you guys can see behind me, some of these girls, and I'll flip it around here in a second to show you more in depth of some of them that were super pulled down, but um, we had cascading effects, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And um, leading up to weaning, we weren't going to wean. <laughs> we were like, well, you know, they can wean in themselves or wean the lambs themselves, which is what we did last year, but we didn't have this big of a flock. Um, and it probably, I, well, they were doing a good job of like weaning themselves already, but just not as speedy as we needed it to be. Um, we have had two lambs go down, actually three now that I think about it. Um, we brought everybody down here a week or so ago and, um, did some stuff and, uh, in the corral and one of them didn't make it all the way down. I'm like, what is going on? I was like, well, maybe it was the water. Maybe she got dehydrated with the, the heat. We had moved, we were rotationally grazing, but moved our water to a different area. It's like, maybe she got dehydrated. I could see, like I checked the eyelids. I don't know from matcha scoring, but I know enough that like pale eyelids, something's going on, um, probably anemia. So she had pale eyelids. Um, was already pulled down from her lamb so like her sides were sunken in um so i th just thought it was going to be um dehydration well then just the other day i had another lamb good body condition smaller frame wasn't side no side sunken in went down and like i don't know i don't know so i was like i have no idea what's going on um, I still, I guess, kind of fluked it up to be water. I had no idea what to do. Then finally we were about to, we had made the decision that like if, if the problem was weaning, like that we needed to wean these lambs, we had to do it immediately. So we got everything set up to wean our lambs and we went up to go ahead and bring them down. And what did I notice? I noticed the lump under the jaw and I'm not talking about like the fat lump. I had my father-in-law out here. He's like, well, I do see a lump under their jaw. I'm like, no, not on their neck, on their jaw. And I noticed it in at least three or four of them. And I have been on the Facebook groups enough um, that I know that that's Barbara Polworm. And we have never wormed anybody um, of our sheep, but we knew we needed to figure something out immediately. Thank goodness. I have a contact of a friend that does worm and so reached out to him and I was like, okay, what do I do? What's your protocol for this? I was able to get one of the wormers. Um, he does like a double wormer. Um, I was able to get one. The other one I couldn't get um, I had to order it online and it wasn't going to come in the mail. So we ended up just treating with one. But in the next video, I will show you guys these specific ewes that had it and within one day the i mean not that they're cured by any means but it's so much better so much better their um their symptoms of this swelling so uh it was only five to six ewes that were pulled down the worst and i can here i can show you one right here let me flip around um this brown one right here was one of them but yeah only my like bottom five to six were um, showing signs of swelling and um, anybody that had been pulled down like terrible body condition from their lambs so when we weaned we ended up just warming them um, with one dose 
I think you're supposed to do it um, again in two weeks. We will see. Probably the way that we do our rotational grazing, it's just not feasible to bring everybody back down. I mean, we can, but it's not ideal for us. It's a lot of work. So we'll probably just call it at that. We're hoping that weaning will also help with their body condition and like lighten, you know. Essentially what we take it to be was that we put way too much stress on them with pulling their body condition down that their immune system wasn't able to shed those parasites and that's why they got the barber pole worm. I'm guessing if anybody um, knows more than I do, please put it in the comments. But I'm guessing that that's what um, occurred because all of our F1s are fine. You know, our bigger, heavier set Katahdins, they weren't pulled down um, with body condition from their lambs and they're fine. Um, we, we didn't treat any of them with wormer. I really, you know, the, when you come to the point where you're like, okay, I've lost three ewes, um, do I just let the rest die or do I worm them and see if they come back? I'm willing to worm or Ryan and I are both willing to worm. I know that there's some farmers out there that are say no wormer, no wormer ever, let them die and then they'll they'll um, be gone from the flock and then I don't have to deal with them in the future. I understand that. I understand it. But I'm gonna treat that you on my farm and then I will mark her down. And if I have to treat her again or if I decide to sell her, then then she's gone. So we'll give her another chance. If it's my fault, which it was, then then we'll see. We'll see how she does. If, if I have to treat them again, then they'll probably go. But I wanted to share that because a lot of people, I don't know, we're in the regenerative ag space. Uh, you know, we rotate our sheep. So that means that they're parasite resistant. Well, no animal is truly parasite resistant. I've gotten to where like, I don't like that term. <laughs> I don't like they're parasite tolerant. Every animal has parasites. Um, so where was I going with that? Like, I guess I just, I, oh, um, we, we've never dealt with worms before. And so it was interesting for me to come upon this and like understand, okay, I know from the Facebook groups that that's barber, barber pole worm. Let's treat to the best of the ability that we can. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys the specific use that had it and um, tell you like within one day difference how they look. Um, and it's been great. So hopefully they'll bounce back. But okay, we will leave it at that, guys. Like I said, comment below if you guys know more about worms or if I'm totally wrong. Go ahead and leave it in the comments. I'd love to read them. And even if you disagree with me, um, yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. <laughs> you can, you can uh, post a comment below and let me know what you do on your farm. And if it's different than mine, I totally respect what you guys do. And hopefully you respect what we do. So, Okay, but we will see you guys in the next video. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.